another check of the weather. We've got John standing by with a look at that in the Weather Center. Hey, John. Yeah, we're looking at a busy weekend, James. Today, not so much, but Saturday and then Sunday afternoon into evening. Two different systems are going to have a huge impact on us. Let's start with today and right now in particular. <laughs> we're looking at Coy Tower right here with some dry skies. We do have mostly cloudy conditions overhead, though. That's a change today from yesterday. Yesterday, it was mostly sunny to partly cloudy out there. Glorious afternoon. Today is still really nice and comfortable. You're just not going to see near as much sunshine. Tonight, while we're sleeping, showers will begin to drift in towards midnight for the North Bay and then after that for the rest of us. This first round of rainfall for your Saturday is going to be very concentrated to the northern part of the Bay Area, seeing our greatest totals up in Sonoma, Napa, Lake Mendocino, and Marin counties. While the rest of us will be seeing our own dose of heavy rainfall, heaviest of it moving through during the afternoon on Saturday. Saturday. This moves through and by Sunday we get a little bit of a break during Sunday morning. That's before round three of rainfall makes its way in. As for radar right now, it is nice and dry, but you can see out to our west one, two, three rounds of rain. The first is what we saw earlier this past week on Wednesday. Second is what impacts us tomorrow. And the third one right out there behind me, Sunday night on into Monday and Tuesday. These successive fronts will leave varying impacts across the state. Saturday, tomorrow's rainfall, scattered showers, and a lot of heavy rainfall for the North Coast. Then we work our way into Sunday through Tuesday. Round the next round of rain, introducing flooding concerns, as this will bring our very heaviest of rainfall, our very strongest of winds, too. Again, that's Sunday night on into Monday itself. Rainfall will continue to stack up as we work our way into early next week. Some spots like the Santa Cruz Mountains, as much as seven inches of rainfall to be expected. A lot of urban areas, anywhere between two to even five inches of rain as we make our way into the weekend and early next week. So this is going to be a big rainmaker, a big snowmaker too. The Sierra Nevada looking at several feet of snowfall at those highest of elevations. By Monday, President's Day, Donner Summit will have seen an order between seven to nine inches of new snowfall. Lake Tahoe going to see another couple feet of it in those mountain resorts. So that is very welcome news. This is going to do a lot for catching up with our snowpack. Right now, the northern Sierra is around 84% of average. By the middle of next week, fully expecting those numbers to look even healthier, especially good for the southern Sierra, which is lagging far behind. Temperatures today are going to be very mild. Get a quick look at these numbers. Pretty much all of us are going to be in the 60s, a varying degree of low 60s at the coast to even near 70 degrees in San Jose today at 68 for your daytime high. Low 60s for the inland East Bay, mid to upper 60s along the East Bay shoreline. North Bay temperatures, some of our coolest. Vacaville only at 61 degrees today. A look ahead shows tomorrow temperatures fall into the 50s. Rain and wind for your Saturday. Getting a break. Sunday morning and then Sunday afternoon into evening it kicks back into gear and rainfall stays with us into Monday for President's Day and for much of the beginning of next week. Roadways this morning doing all right. We're not looking at any 